Are these your dogs? Yeah. Would you mind if I take a little portrait of them? Your dog is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Would you mind if I take a portrait of your dog? Would you mind if I take a portrait? I'm a dog photographer. Would you mind if I take a portrait of them? Hey man, take a portrait of your dog. Do you mind if I take a photo? Oh, two dogs. I'm a dog photographer. Portrait of your dog. If he listens. <laughs> Can I take a picture? <laughs> I was just wondering if I could take a photo. I'm a dog photographer. Would you mind if I take a picture of your dog? Do you mind if I say hi to your dogs? Turning dogs into I'm models. Sure. Take a picture. Would you mind if I take a photo of your dog? Dog. 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 A little floppy check. Just like a dog grounds their human, I get that grounding through sharing their love by the millions while traveling, uh, and it feels good. A few years back, I felt pretty isolated during the pandemic, and creating social media content became a way for me to connect with people. But I still miss true human connection, so I went and found it in two places, dog portraits and nomadic living. I always love to travel and in the past I've done many long trips shooting films. So I had a taste of nomadic living already. I saw it and immediately wanted in. Any struggle that arises when you choose to go on the road, whether that's what am I gonna take with me? How much will I miss my friends? How am I gonna make money? What am I gonna do next? Am I even gonna like this? All of those thoughts kind of disappear things just tend to fall in place. Go to places that offer community. You'll meet people who are like-minded, who you can learn from, who can give you advice or guide you, have maybe already gone through what you're going through. That's my advice anyways, just dive in. You probably won't want to turn back. You guys have any life lessons you've learned from your dogs? Somebody was asking why do dogs live <clears throat> so sure. little said he's like because they already know everything they need to know. They're all love. Uh, it's know? unfiltered love. They're right? here to learn all these things because we go through all these bad emotions and they, they already know what they need to know. That's incredible. That's 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 really it. I don't have a dog. That's true. I'm able to like feel the love <laughs> of these dogs. And just like understand how they ground people through meeting all of these dogs and all of these people and talking to them. I just see the love that the dogs are bringing these people and my goal is to spread that by the millions. I think that's what grounds me, providing <laughs> serotonin, happiness to people. In the long run, what I'd like to do is open up people's eyes to the well-being of wildlife around, around the planet. I want to use my audience to start spreading even more awareness about this stuff. And positivity, because there are a lot of people doing great things in the world that should, you know, it should be seen. Whether that's saving animals, saving forests, saving the oceans. Living nomadically, shooting this stuff goes hand in hand. And I do think traveling to these hostels where we can talk and connect to people, it's the best place to do this.